Well, in this video, we're looking at Google Drawing, and we're going to look at how you can use it very easily to create a module map or a mind map. So, first off, we're going to start with the insert menus, and we can come down to shape, and we've got a number of different types of shape. So, I'm going to go with this rounded rectangle. I can make that the center of my module map. I can then go up. I can change the color, so make it transparent, and we can change the color of the outside of the box. I can come along, I can change the width of the lines. I can also add a text box, so I could put my idea there. I then can come along and go insert again, and this time I can choose a different shape. So maybe choose a, let's go with a circle. And I can make those oval. And having got one, I can just Command C and so copy and paste. So Command or Control, depending if you're on Mac or PC. Let's do find one. So I've got my main areas and then I can go through and again I can remove the background by making it transparent I can position them and you can see you've got the the guidelines coming up to tell you when they are equidistant and then what I can do is I can click on the background and drag and select all of those components I can go to arrange I've got to distribute or I can just group those together so I'm happy that they're all in the position I want I can then move them around my table and then the students can just insert a text box into each of those and they can start typing And then what's really nice is what you can do is, having got your initial ones, you can insert more. So we can insert further shapes. And then having done that, you can use the lines to connect them all up. So we can connect that one to that one. We can connect that one to that one. And you can see, very easy to do using the connectors. And then we can add a couple more shapes. So we go, always go back to the move tool. So use the select arrow, you can move that along, position that where you want it. And again, then we can use the connector and it'll add the squiggly line. If we go back to the arrow, we can move that around and the connector will remain attached. If we go to this one, we can look at other shapes. We can use the shortcut shortcut menu here. We can go also up to format and we can come to change shape. So we want to change the shape. We don't have to delete it. We can just use the change shape function. So very quickly and very easily, you can create yourself a really nice mind map. For those of you not familiar with Google Drawing, it's got the same collaborative features. So we can go to file and we can share and we can give users uh, the ability to comment, the ability to edit. We've also got the option to download as, and we could download it as a PDF or as a JPEG. We can email it as an attachment and we've got the version history and being able to view the version history and name a particular version as well. So there you have it, a great way of making module maps or mind maps that are collaborative and a great way for students to get down ideas or maybe capture class notes within a lecture. I hope you found the video useful. If you enjoyed it, please remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon. Thanks for watching.